I'm Don Osborne, CEO of Spectrum Energy and the former Superintendent of Renewable Resources at the Sacramento Municipal Utility District, also known as SMUD. Back in the early 1990s, SMUD was the first utility to make a serious investment in the commercialization of photovoltaics. Today, SMUD operates one of the longest running PV programs in the country, with substantial amounts of both amorphous silicon thin film and crystalline silicon PV modules. From time to time, I still hear questions about the long-term reliability of PV thin film laminates. Within 50 miles of Sacramento, there are many utility scale thin film PV arrays that have been generating reliable, consistent power for five, 10, even 15 years or more after deployment. For example, PVUSA in Davis operates a 290 kilowatt amorphous silicon thin film PV system that was installed in 1992. For over 16 years, these thin film modules have exhibited excellent reliability. Based on that success, SMUD installed this 100 kilowatt thin film system at its hedge facility in 1994. After 14 years, the thin film modules there continue to perform as well as the crystalline silicon modules at the site with excellent reliability and practically no maintenance. The only major problem we had with the thin film array at Hedge was in the record-breaking storm of 1996 when over a thousand trees were blown down in San Francisco's Golden Gate Park. We discovered cracking in a few modules on the lower corners of the array due to flexing of the support structure in the high winds. This design flaw in the mounting structure was solved with a quick retrofit. Here at the Cal Expo facility in Sacramento, we have a half a megawatt solar port that was installed in 1999. Over half of this array is amorphous silicon thin film PV. This deployment was so successful that over three and a half megawatts of additional thin film PV systems were installed at fairgrounds across the state. The combination of low cost, long-term reliability and performance made this choice a natural. After almost 10 years, these PV modules have been both highly reliable and durable. Their power output has been high and consistent with the power generation predicted. After the successful performance of this system and others like it in Sacramento, SMUD installed an additional 700 kilowatts of amorphous silicon thin film PV laminates in 2002 at its Rancho Seco site, its oldest and largest PV facility. Building on one successful thin film deployment after another, SMUD and other local power authorities have installed over six and a half megawatts of thin film PV arrays. Their performance, reliability, and cost effectiveness has been excellent. We've shown you just a few examples of successful local PV thin film deployment. Across the country and across the world, there are many, many more. After 25 years in the PV industry, all the evidence I've seen confirms that thin film laminates, when properly manufactured and installed, operate every bit as good as crystalline silicon modules in the long run. With a solid record of field performance and cost reduction opportunities, I believe thin film will be a major factor in driving down the cost of solar for everyone, everywhere. Thank you for watching.